In this video, we're going to review and demonstrate the new Polar Express O-Gauge Caboose, and we're starting right now. Hi, I'm Owen. On December 13th, 2019, 14 months ago, I ordered the Polar Express O-Gauge Caboose, and it's just arrived. In this video, we're going to take a close look at it, and we're going to put it on our layout and connect it to the train and see it in action. If you enjoy reviews of new products, new rolling stock, new locomotives, new accessories for model train layouts, then please consider subscribing to this channel. We do these reviews continually as new things come in. We'll have another caboose coming in in a few days, we hope, and, and another review be a bit different than this one, and I think that'll be fun. So if you enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing to this channel. Let's take a nice close look at this caboose and see what it has to offer. This is, I think, one of the more nicely done pieces of rolling stock from, from Lionel on the Polar Express. If you look, these two little lanterns at the back, they are illuminated. There's little LEDs in there and one on each side, they light up red, which is pretty nice touch. The interior lights also are illuminated. I'm going to shut this light off here and you'll be able to see a little better. There are interior lights on there that are illuminated. Let me zoom in a little bit closer to that window and you'll see one of the two figures that are on the inside. There's a figure sitting on each side of the caboose and I'm going to disconnect this from the train and roll it back a little bit further and we'll see if we can get a better look at this. Now as we do that you can see that in this window here he starts to come into view. There's the figure in that window on this side of the caboose. And you'll notice also that these are bay windows that stick out on the sides which would enable them to be able to see the down the train uh, quite effectively when this train when these were operating cabooses in the real world. The this is referred to as an I-12 model caboose. I-12 cabooses were developed by the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad starting in the 1930s and were in service for many, many years on that line. Let me lift this off the track. The lights are going to go out on the inside, but nonetheless, we'll take a close look. On the underside of the caboose, you can see also there's some nicely detailed features on here, some things that have been applied by hand that have made that look a little more attractive. The uh, little box down here holding tools or whatnot was authentic looking. Uh, the road number on this is uh, C2425 which would be great for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Um, you get a close-up now you can see that lantern there on the side that illuminates uh, so it's lit and you can see it from the rear as well as from the side. Uh, on the other side there's uh, a similar lantern. You can see that also. The rear of the caboose has got this neat ladder that goes up to the roof and that's kind of a nice touch. And then there are uh, little brass railings. You can see here brass grips, brass handrails to hold on to on each end of that. The ladder going up to the roof uh, is uh, on both ends. Let me show you, turn it around, you see this end as well. Get a little better view of it. You can see the ladders going up to the roof and the brass rails uh, as well as the underside details. Then on the platform in the back, everything is kind of molded in here, but nonetheless you've got multiple windows back there. They're all glazed and the door and the railings that are molded in are really nicely done. The, this bay window that sticks out here so that they could bump out so they could see down the length of the train when looking through that window. That's pretty cool. This nice steps going up here. If you look at these steps you can see actually these are very realistic looking steps going up to the platform on the back. Same thing on the front. Uh, mesh steps and then the diamond uh, plate pattern on there. On the roof you can see there's this uh, 
wooden walkway from one end to the other coming up here onto the landing and then a wooden walkway that leads from one end to the other climb up and down on the roof that was very authentic the smokestack on the roof is also authentic looking unfortunately Lionel decided to make this caboose without an operating smoke unit now some of their I-12 cabooses many of their I-12 cabooses do actually have operating smoke units and with a little bit of smoke fluid inside you'll get that thing working and smoking which would look great but uh, nonetheless I think Lionel did a nice job on this. Let's roll this forward and recouple it to the train and then we will take it around the layout and see how it looks in operation. There we go. Good solid connection. Now let's get the train running. This is a Milwaukee Road badged Lion Chief Plus locomotive that's going to be pulling this train. I've got the caboose behind a scale gondola car, so it looks a little small. I think I may hook it up a little differently next time around the track and make it look a little bit more authentic. taken that scale gondola car off and I've got the standard traditional old gauge cars ahead of it now. Let's see how it looks being pulled by that walking brakeman box car. That's the hero boy walking brakeman box car and we'll get that rolling a little bit here. Get some speed underway as we lock watch the locomotive pulling the caboose and the whole train by. That looks pretty good. I, I really think that that caboose looks great on the layout. I'm, uh, I'm pleased. That was a 14-month wait from the time I ordered this, December 13th, 2019, until it just arrived today. That's a pretty long wait, but um, actually I think it was worth the wait. I'm, I'm just happy to have this now. And that really completes the train. That's, you know, one thing that's just been missing on this train is a caboose and now with this caboose in place I think it looks great. If you look closely you can probably see those lights on the back of the caboose, those little lanterns, red lanterns shining. Uh, the lights inside it look good. It's a nice addition I think to the Polar Express layout. I think this is going to be just great to have. And that Milwaukee Road Lion Chief Plus locomotive, I, I like that. I really do like that. Of course, I grew up in Milwaukee Road territory. That was the line that ran through town where I lived. So I, I'm just a little bit partial to Milwaukee Road. And there we have it, folks. That's my review, and that's a demonstration of the caboose. Uh, that, I think, looks great. It's uh, nicely detailed. It's got a lot of little touches on it that make it look good. The interior lit up looks good with the actual figure sitting there. Um, 
all around, I've got to say thumbs up on this one. I feel positive about this caboose. Glad to have it. Glad it's part of my rolling stock. Before we wrap up this video, let's take a quick look at the farmstead. The old weathered barn is fastened down in place and the wiring is under the table and connected. The lights are on. The rustic cabin is fastened in place. The wires are under the table. The lights are on. And sitting behind there is an old John Deere A with the steel wheels. This would have been something that you'd have seen a lot of back in the old days. Uh, rubber was expensive and during World War II especially rubber was not available so the rubber needed for the war effort went to the war effort and tractors reverted back to steel wheels. That's pretty prototypical for the era. Altogether, I'm quite pleased with the way that turned out sitting at the farmstead. It's a little bit larger than I would like but it is also uh, prototypical and it fits in with the era. The farm looks good, lit up, the trains are running well, so life is good. Well that'll do it for today's video folks. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new Polar Express caboose. I like it. I'm pleased with it. I, I waited 14 months for it. Uh, I think it was worth the wait. I'm glad it's here. If you enjoy reviews of new products and including rolling stock, locomotives, accessories, please consider subscribing to this channel. I'd be glad to have you on board. Also, please uh, click the thumbs up down below and like this video. Please share it on social media or with anyone else you know that's into model railroading. And as always, thanks for watching.